We were first introduced to mysterious tank filled with semi-clear liquid after Luke was attacked by a wampa ice creature on Hoth. Let's dive into six cool facts about this strange healing liquid called Bacta that you may not know. Bacta was a thick, gelatinous substance that had a consistency somewhere between liquid and slime. It was made up of a type of barley along with a synthetic chemical called Kavam and a bacteria called Alazi. It contained magic healing properties that could regrow body tissue, repair nerves and muscles, and even knit together broken bones. It was invented by an insectoid species called the Vradix, and it was produced on a planet named Thyphera. A lot of people hated Bacta. It was warm and slimy, and it gave the people feeling of being swallowed alive. Doctors would often give the patient sedatives first, slowly taking them into a meditative state, and making them feel like they were in a dreamlike world. Some people would feel worse a few days after the Bacta therapy, while some others, they'd feel the opposite, like their bodies feeling light and free from pain. Bacta was used in several different forms. The Bacta tank is what we see Luke in in The Empire Strikes Back, and both Vader and Obi-Wan in the Kenobi series. There's also a portable tank called a pod that people would take with them on their ships. There's a Bacta spray that the bounty hunter droid IG-11 uses to heal Din Djarin on Navarro. There's Bacta patches that we see used in Captain Rex in the Clone Wars, and in the Star Wars Battlefront game, there's a Bacta bomb you can obtain that can be thrown into a group of soldiers that can heal them all at once. Darth Vader used his Bacta tank on Mustafar out of necessity when he wasn't in his suit, which he had his life support. He could not survive without his suit unless he was in the Bacta tank. He hoped that with enough Bacta therapy that eventually it would heal his lungs and he would no longer need his breathing apparatus in the suit. It also alleviated most of the pain that Vader felt constantly because of his injuries from his fight with Obi-Wan Kenobi on Mustafar. There was a conflict called the Bacta War in 7 ABY, three years after the destruction of the second Death Star. Imperial remnants still fighting released a deadly virus called the Krydos virus that attacked only non-human species. Then they attacked and took over Thyphera, the planet that produced Bacta. Rogue Squadron, with some of my favorite characters like Corrin Horn and Wedge Antilles, defeated the Imperials and restored the Bacta production to the rest of the galaxy. A Bacta tank and supply of Bacta were expensive, with the tank alone costing 100,000 credits. Generally, they were only found in hospitals, aboard capital ships, and in major military bases. The movement of the tanks was extremely difficult because they weighed around 500 kilograms. Now, it's really too bad that Back to Kent Hill Ugly, or maybe Cornelius Ebazon might have had a chance to find himself a wife to keep him busy instead of picking fights with Jedi Masters. We've seen Bacta throughout all of the movies and the TV series. To see how to properly watch all of this content in the perfect order, Click here for that video and may the force be with you.